Hey guys, I have another little book haul for you today. Um, I know the lighting's not great out here, but it's so beautiful out, and I just wanted to take advantage of the weather. So, I was at Barnes & Noble the other night because I needed to get a book for one of my classes. I'm taking children's literature, and I had to pick up um, one out of like six or seven books that um, our teacher suggested, and I decided I wanted to get Where the Wild Things Are, because I love this book and I don't have a copy of it. So I went there and I fully intended on just picking this up and then leaving, but you know that's never the case when you go into a bookstore. So I went in and I decided I wanted to look for some books by Karis Roan. She writes um, the Paranormal Romance. And she is also a member of the chapter of RWA that I belong to, it's a Valley of the Sun. So she's a member of the chapter that I belong to. She's so sweet, and Karis Rowan is not her real name, but it's a really cool name. So I wanted to see if they had the first few books in her series. And uh, I read the first one, but it was my mom's copy, and I wanted my own copy. So, so I wanted to see if she... Um, if the first few books of hers were in the store and they were so I picked up um, actually all of the books in our series so far I have let's see which one is the first one okay so the first one is Ascension gorgeous cover it's all about like winged um, vampires it's really um, unique and it's different so I picked up Ascension which I've already read it's amazing pick it up read it then the next one is Burning Skies another gorgeous cover and then we've got let's see Wings of Fire that's that one and then the newest one that just came out I think it was just a few weeks ago um, is called Born of Ashes. So, really great series. I definitely suggest that you pick it up. Um, again, I've only read the first one in her series, but it's amazing, and I'm not really one who likes to read paranormal romance so much, um, unless it's like a young adult, but these are excellent. Sorry, I've got hair in my face hair in the face. It's not fun. So yeah, pick them up. They're really great. And then as I was going to check out, I was like, okay, I've got enough. I, I got to get out of here. I saw on the new and paperback table a book, a new book by one of my absolute favorite authors. And um, I didn't even know that this book had come out in hardback. I don't even know if it did. I mean, I suppose it did. But um, it's by Sarah Addison Allen. I love her writing. She's in the uh, general fiction, but all of her books have this really kind of magical, um, mystical feel to them. And it's, uh, I, just, I love her writing. Her style is amazing. Her stories just, they weave together so effortlessly it's amazing um, the other two books that I've read are um, the sugar queen and oh my god I can't remember the first one um, my god I can't remember the first one it was so good uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it was amazing. God, I know the author and I can't remember her books. Anyway, this is The Peach Keeper. She also has out, um, I think it's called The Girl Who Chased the Moon, and I have that one. I haven't read it yet. I have a huge TBR pile, and it grows and grows and grows and grows. I could build a house out of my books on my TBR pile alone, <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of you can. Um, relate to that but I saw this just as I was leaving and Sarah Addison Allen is an automatic buy for me so pick that up and then 
I left. So, um, for my last book haul, I'm still reading through um, The Wishcraft Mystery, the first one, It Takes a Witch, and it's it's really cute. I like it. Um, and then I'm rereading uh, Guilty Pleasures by Anita Blake. I'm starting over that series because I have, like, her last four or five books in that series I own, but I haven't read them, and I wanted to start back at the beginning um, just so that I could freshen my memory of all of the events. Um, so I'm rereading that, and then all of my books for school. So that's it. On the writing front, um, I just got this book in. I had to order it from, I think I ordered it from Amazon. Um, it's called The Story Solution, 23 Actions All Great Heroes Must Take. It's by Eric Edson. Um, this is meant to be a screenwriting book, but um, I find that screenwriting books are immensely helpful for novelists. Um, it just is, and this is such an amazing book. Um, the 23 steps <laughs> or actions isn't until way back here, so I started in the middle, and then I'm going to read the the beginning after I'm done with this stuff, because the front stuff is kind of stuff I already knew, but the back stuff is the the meat of the books that I really wanted to get to. So this is a really great book. I've been taking so many notes and making um, a lot of um, changes to my current um, work in progress, and it's going really, really great. So I hope you guys are doing really well, and I will talk to you later. Bye.